Hi, David Goldman here, Director of Product Development at Zodiac Pool Systems. Today we're going to show you a short video of how to install iAqualink 2.0, the easiest to install mobile web-based user interface for pool and spa controls. The iAqualink is a web-based automation solution that allows you to control your pool anytime, anywhere, from virtually any device. Using our free app for your smartphone or tablet, you can control all the elements of your pool spa system even when you're on the go. iAqualink connects to the web either wired or wirelessly through the pool owner's existing internet connection. Today we'll show you how a wireless setup is done, which is the most common type of installation. Should you choose to use a wired connection, an ethernet jack can be located inside of the web connect device iAqualink installation is not a do-it-yourself job. Just like the circuit breaker panel in your home, this box contains high voltage wiring and therefore the installation must be done by a professional electrician or a qualified pool professional. We'll be working with the IQ20A package for this install. This package contains the iAqualink 2.0 Web Connect device. This is just one of the many iAqualink configurations available. Contact your Zodiac sales representative or preferred distributor to find out which model best suits your installation requirements. Wiring. First, shut off the main breaker that powers the control system. Once power is off, remove the dead panel, exposing the connections of the main PCB. We're going to install a Revision R chip to make this board compatible with iAqualink. The Web Connect device should be mounted at least 6 feet off the ground and 10 feet away from any brush type motors, such as an air blower. The wires must be run through the low voltage raceway located on the left side of the power center. Securely fasten the wires from the Web Connect device into the red 4 pin connector on the main PCB. Then verify the wires are attached properly. One is red, two is black. 3 is yellow, 4 is green. Once the wires and dead panel are secure, it is safe to again power up the system by turning the breaker on. Clear current Wi-Fi settings. Remove the device lid and toggle the Wi-Fi wired switch to clear the settings. Then set the iAqualink to your desired setup mode. We'll need to connect iAqualink to the network. There are three ways to do this. Let's start with the WPS method. Press the WPS button on the pool owner's router. To find it, look for this symbol. Some brands use other names like Quick Setup or other icons such as a padlock. After clearing the Wi-Fi settings and with the switch in the Wi-Fi position, Press and release the WPS button and wait for the small yellow LED next to the WPS button to begin blinking. Within a few moments, the yellow LED on the outside of the Web Connect device will light up, and once the green LED is illuminated, the iAqualink is connected. Wi-Fi Hotspot Method We can also connect using the Hotspot Method. Again, you'll need to toggle the Wi-Fi wired switch to clear the settings, and with the switch in the Wi-Fi position, grab a smartphone or Wi-Fi enabled device. Go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the network labeled iAqualink. Some devices will automatically redirect you to the router selection screen. If not, simply open a browser and go to www.iAqualink.com. iAqualink will display the networks it detects as well as signal strength. Select the network you want iAqualink to use. If prompted for a password, enter the password for the network you've selected. And remember, it's case sensitive. iAqualink will then connect and the green LED on the Web Connect device will illuminate in two minutes or less. iAqualink will disconnect from the smartphone at this point. Wired Ethernet Method An Ethernet connection is also available. Just slide the switch to the wired position. Connect the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port, route the cable as shown, and use the breakaway as an exit hole. Then replace the rubber gasket and cover. Within two minutes, the yellow LED will stop blinking, and when the green light illuminates, the iAqualink is connected. Our final step will be to create an iAqualink account and register the device. 
Before creating an account, locate the serial number found on the side of the WebConnect device or on the information card. It can also be found on some of the iAqualink packaging elements. Go to www.iAqualink.com and click Sign Up on the home page. Complete the appropriate fields to create an account. Once your account is created, log in with your email address and password, then click Add Location. Now we'll enter the serial number from the WebConnect device. A location can only be added if the green LED has remained illuminated and the computer you are working from is connected to the same network as the iAqualink. After the serial number is entered, we are able to create a name or label our new location. By clicking the location label, the setup is complete. You can now control your pool anytime, anywhere by logging into your account at www.iAqualink.com or through the iAqualink app on your smartphone or tablet. Pool owners can turn on the spa while at the gym, check pool status while away from home, and allow a pool service company to make adjustments. It takes just a few simple steps and installation can be completed in minutes. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us at 1-800-822-7933 or go to www.iaqualink.com and click on the Support tab. We appreciate your time and thank you for joining us today.